Okay, so we're back in uh, Destiny 2. Uh, right now we are in the tower. Um, yeah, so we're in the tower. And we are in the courtyard. And we're going to go to the hangar. Because Zer is here. We're in the hangar. Um, I know I'm like super late and everything. But uh, I've just been busy. Um, and I haven't had time to do a Zer video, so you probably already know what he has, but uh, I ha I don't. Uh, so let's see what he has. Go up the stairs. He is right here. Alright, so for the exotic weapon, he brought Prometheus Lens, which is a, a trace rifle. Uh, the weapon perks are Chamber Compensator. Projection fuse, uh, flame refraction, comp composite stock. It does have a catalyst. Um, the interesting trait is prismatic inferno. Fires a solar trace beam that creates a field of heat energy that grows as the weapon is fired. Uh, basically, you sustain damage when you fire the weapon. You apply a scorch to the target you're shooting at. Um, for PvE, this is actually a pretty okay-ish weapon to use for fun. Um, for PvP, I don't really use trace rifles. Um, but, I mean, it's good in momentum control. Um, since it's it like one shots. Um, or two shots, even. Uh, but yeah, if you want to have... If you want to play with a weapon that's fun, uh, Prometheus Lens... Uh, it's your go-to. Alright. Moving on to the exotic armor, starting with the 6 Coyote, which is a Hunter exotic chest plates. Um, the armor perk is double dodge. Basically, you get a second dodge charge. Um, it's not loading. I don't know why. Um, so you can see it. Why is it not loading? Hold on. So let's approach Zer again. Um, let's see if it loads now. Oh, okay. Um, I loaded it now. Alright, the total stats is 70. That's actually a lot. And it has a mobility of 30. So it synergizes very well with, uh, double dodge. Um, because the more mobility you have, the faster you get your dodge. Which means you'll get your second dodge even faster. And I'm pretty sure 70 is the highest total stats that you can get. So, yeah, pick this up if you don't have one yet. Uh, moving on to the uh, Ashen Wake, which is a Titan exotic gauntlet. The armor perk is Bring the Heat. Uh, fusion grenades gain increased throw speed, explode on impact, and stun unstoppable champions. Basically an improvement to... Uh, to fusion grenades. If you like fusion grenades, then Ashen Wake is the go to gauntlet to use. Uh, final blows with fusion grenades grant grenade energy. So when you get a kill with a fusion grenade, you get grenade energy back, which means you get your gren uh, fusion grenades back even quicker. And it's a cycle. So that's pretty good. Um, the total stats is 64. And it has a high discipline, which you need. If you want to get your grenades back quicker. Uh, so it synergizes well with Bring the Heats. Um, I personally have never used these gauntlets. But I mean. If you like using fusion grenades. Then uh, yeah pick these gauntlets up. Finally Zer has the Apotheosis Veil. Which is an exotic helmet for the Warlock. Uh, the armor perk is Insatiable. Um. Basically, when you activate your super, you receive your health back, your melee, grenade, and riff energy. Not only for you, but for your teammates that are nearby. And when your super ends, you get an increase of melee and grenade regeneration. Um, I'm against... Uh, uh, I'm against an exotic that you have to use your super in order for it to work. Because more often than not, this is pretty useless in PvP. 
um, because it takes forever to get your super back. Um, for PvE, I mean, there's better exotics out there for the Warlock. The Apotheosis Veil is it's not even on my radar. Uh, but the total stats is 65. It has mobility high, which is not needed for a Warlock. Um, resilience is high too, which is okay. Intellect is kind of high, which I, I guess it works well with Insatiable since more intellect means the faster your super, you get your super back, which means Insatiable is going to proc. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to try it out, you can go ahead and get the Apotheosis Veil. Um, for the Hawk Moon, uh, it has opening shots. Uh, it's not a bad uh, Hawk Moon, but opening shot is only for the first uh, shot of the Hawk Moon, so you have to reload in order for opening shot to proc again, which is not my ideal perk for a Hawk Moon or for any hand cannon. But I mean, if you like opening shot on your hand cannons, then go ahead and pick up Hawk Moon. Uh, it's, it's, oh, um, Zero has a genealogy quest, which if you complete it, you get an exotic cipher that you can uh, use at the exotic archive in the tower. As always, Zero has an exotic Ingram, which you can buy for 97 shards. Uh, let's take a look at the legendary weapons. Zer has brass attacks, which is a sidearm. Um, it has slide weights and one for all. I guess it's an okay sidearm, but I think there's better side sidearms out there. Um, but if you don't have one, you can go ahead and pick up brass attacks. Uh, Zer has legal action, which is a post rifle. It has feeding frenzy and thrash. Not the best perks for a, a post rifle, so I just skip this. Uh, no reprieve, which is a shotgun. It has outlaw wellspring, and it's a slug shotgun. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can craft this uh, shotgun. Um, so it's up to you if you want to pick it up from Zer. Uh, moving on to the cynic bite for B, which is a combat bow. It has dragonfly and snake bow. Um, Dragonfly is more of a PvE perk, so if you want to use a bow for PvP, then just skip Arsenic. Uh, moving on to the Cartesian Coordinate, which is a fusion rifle. It has hip fire grip and high impact reserves. Hip fire grip is not my favorite perk. Um, high impact reserves is kind of good for PvE and PvP. Um, I mean, if you want to use a sh uh, if you want to if you don't have a good fusion rifle, then you can go ahead and pick up this Cartesian coordinate. Uh, moving on to the interference uh, VI, uh, which is a grenade launcher. It has clown cartridge and four quarts. Not the best perks for a grenade launcher. Um, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't have sticky grenades. So yeah, you can just go ahead and skip this. Um, finally, Plank Stride, which is a machine gun. It has Killing Wind and Tap the Trigger. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can craft this machine gun. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to get it from Zer. Uh, 